This video is how to hear the voice of Almighty God. And we hope that it will touch your heart. You cannot know God's voice unless you know His Son Jesus Christ. In John 10 27 through 28 we read. My sheep will know my voice. And I know them and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Hearing God's voice is personal. It involves a direct intimate person-to-person -person relationship with God. Every voice is individual and unique. No two voices are exactly alike. Voices are one of the most individual features of human personality. That's why Jesus said about his sheep. They won't follow a stranger because a stranger's voice is different. Our protection is hearing the Lord's voice relating to him individually personally, not just relating to a historical figure. Not just relating to some movement or some doctrine. But relating to the Lord himself through his voice. Open your heart to the voice of God. When you open up to the Lord you will never be harmed. You will never be deceived. You will never be disappointed. If you respond to the wrong voice, many harmful troubles and problems can result. That's the shepherd-sheep relationship. David says in Psalms 23 verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall lack nothing. Out of that personal relationship, every need of David was assured that it will be supplied. But Jesus says. My sheep hear my voice. How can the Lord be our shepherd? If we hear his voice, then he is our shepherd, and all our needs are supplied, and that is beautiful. Hearing God's voice is intangible. It can't be touched. We can't apprehend it with our sight or with feeling. There is only one sense that apprehends a voice. And that is the sense of hearing. Hearing God's voice is present in the sense of time. Hearing God's voice is never in the past and never in the future. It's always now. Only now we can hear voice. It's present. A voice is only now. A voice has no past. A voice has no future. It shuts us up to the present. We got to relate to God through hearing his voice. Then that forces us to a present relationship. A present experience. Moses said to God. Who should I tell the Israelites that sent me to you? God said. Tell them. I am who I am, has sent you. I am, is present. It's not past. It's not future. God's name is present. God's living now. Our relationship with God needs to be now. And as we learn to hear God's voice, we have that present personal relationship with the Lord. Hearing God's voice produces faith. The secret of faith comes by hearing God's word. This is stated in Romans chapter 10 verse 17. Faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. All from the word of Christ. Faith comes by hearing this personal word of God, spoken by the Holy Spirit. It's as we hear this spoken word that faith comes. In Exodus chapter 15 verse 26, the Lord said. If thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes. I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. 
For I am the Lord that healeth thee. If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, the guarantee is complete continuing health. The Lord becomes your personal physician. And then the words that the Lord spoke to Israel from Mount Sinai, when he brought them there to make a covenant with them. Exodus chapter 19 verses 5 and 6. Now therefore, if ye obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, and an holy nation. God wanted to make a covenant with Israel, to bring them into a special relationship, to make them a special kind of people, a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. But the condition was, if you obey my voice, then just before they entered the promised land in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, Moses reminded them of God's requirements, and of the results that will follow, if they kept God's requirements, also of the results that will follow if they did not. Listening to the voice of the Lord will bring blessings, and not listening to the voice of the Lord will bring curses. The distinctive lifestyle that results from hearing God's voice. People that learn to hear God's voice, lead a life that's different from other people. They just can't be the same. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 says. It is written. Men shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. To keep our bodies alive, we need natural bread. But to keep our spirits alive and healthy, we need the spiritual bread. The voice of the Lord coming to us. This comes only through the Holy Spirit. We are totally dependent on the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit who brings to us in any given situation the Word of God that we need. That makes it a living voice. So through hearing that Word of God, we are related to God. The Holy Spirit. It's God the Holy Spirit who is guiding us, and directing us all the way, every day by the word that he gives us. Paul says in Romans 8:14, For all who are being led by the Holy Spirit of God, these are sons of God. What makes us sons of God? Being led by the Spirit of God. There are many different ways in which the Holy Spirit works in our lives. First of all, we are born in the Holy Spirit. And that makes each of us a newborn child. A baby. Peter says, As newborn babies desire the pure milk of the world, but that does not make us mature grown-up sons of God. How can we become mature grown-up sons? Only by being led by the Holy Spirit. All who are being led by the Spirit of God. They are sons of God. Not children. Not babies. But mature sons. And that is a continuing ongoing present. All who are being continuing led by the Spirit of God. It's our daily bread. It's hearing the voice of the Lord through the Holy Spirit. As we hear the voice of the Lord we are directed. We have to be led continually by the Holy Spirit. Hearing God's word as daily bread of having the Holy Spirit speak to us daily, and personally was the lifestyle of Jesus himself. He just didn't preach it. He practiced it. Isaiah chapter 50 verse 4 through 7 is a beautiful prophetic picture of the earthly life of our Lord Jesus of his ministry, and in particular, of his ongoing daily relationship with God the Father. This is what the verse says. The Sovereign Lord has given me an instructed tongue. This is Jesus speaking. To know the word that sustains the weary, he wakens me morning by morning wakens my ear to listen like one being taught. That was the secret of Jesus. That God woke his ear every morning. That every morning he heard his father's voice speaking, guiding him and giving direction, instruction, strength for the day. He goes on. The Sovereign Lord has opened my ears and I have not been rebellious. I have not drawn back. And here is a clear prophetic picture of Jesus. I offered my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pulled out my beard. I hid not my face from mocking and spitting. Why was Jesus willing to go through with all that he went through? How was he able? How did he receive the strength? 
The answer was by hearing the father's voice. Every morning he heard from his father before he communicated with human beings. Then he goes on to say, because the Sovereign Lord helps me, I will not be disgraced. Therefore, have I set my face like flint, and I know I will not be put to shame. Jesus began each day listening to the Father. Here are some of the results of listening to the Father each day. First of all, he had words of encouragement for others. Secondly, he received personal direction for each day himself. Thirdly, he received obedience. Hearing God's voice produces obedience. Fourthly, he received strength to go through all that he had to go through. He needed more than human strength. He needed supernatural strength, and he received that through hearing the Father's voice. Fifthly, he received determination, he said, I set my face like a flint, I'm not turning back. All that came to Jesus through hearing the Father's voice. And hearing God's voice will do the same for us, as it did for Jesus. We need to cultivate that habit of letting the Lord waken our ear each morning. God is concerned that we hear his voice.